Welcome to Einstein Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to talk about series circuit. What do we do when we have a series circuit? How do we deal with the parameters, the current, and the voltage? So we are going to talk about the current and voltage in series circuit. First, we have to understand the idea of a series circuit. And a series circuit is a circuit, any circuit, whereby the same current, the same current, this is it, the same current flows through every part of the circuit. So very simple, anytime you have a circuit whereby the same current, the same current flows through every part of the circuit, it is a series circuit. So now we have the idea of same current flowing through every part and through every element of the circuit. Let's look at this circuit. So now we have a circuit. Now this is our resistor. We have another resistor this way. Let's have another resistor here. This is our voltage source. So this is a resistor here. And this is our circuit. So now we have this circuit. We know that this is the positive side and the negative side. So current will tend to move this way i and let's call the voltage as vt which is the total voltage of the battery are we good this is our resistor one our resistor two and resistor three resistor four so here what we mean by a circuit being series is this current i is flowing through the whole circuit as in a circular form. So the same current here, the same current, the same current. Are we good? This is the same I. It makes this circuit a series circuit. So whatever current goes through resistor one, that same current is passing through resistor two. The same current is passing through resistor 3 and the same current is passing through resistor 4. So what we can say about a series circuit is that our current I is the same. Are we okay? For every element. For every element. The same I is happening in every part of D circuit so here can we make some analysis that let's call this current the total current as it are we okay let's call it as it and let's assign current to each of the elements so i'll call current in resistor one as i1 call current in resistor two i2 as I3 and this as I4. Now, the idea for series circuit is that for our current, the IT, which is the total current moving from the source, is equal to the current in resistor 1, which is I1, and it is also equal to current in resistor 2, I2. And that is also equal to I3 and it is equal to I4. So every part of the circuit has the same current. That's for a series circuit in terms of currents. So now we, we've deducted the idea of current being the same. Let's check out for voltage in a series circuit. 
now with the voltage so since current is the same for the circuit voltage is going to differ so let's call voltage across resistor one as v1 we have our v2 we have our v3 and our v4 had it been current everything will be the same but for a series circuit the voltage deduction is in this form voltage this is the voltage source the total voltage that is being supplied to the entire circuit and we are saying for a series circuit the total voltage is equal to the voltage drop across resistor 1 which is v1 and the voltage across resistor 2 v2 the voltage for resistor 3 and the voltage for resistor 4 are we okay so the voltage is the summation of the individual voltage drops across the various elements for a series circuit now we know that from the ohm's law our v is equal to what i r so for the vt that's the total voltage since the same current is going through the circuit can we say vt should be i r t where r t is the total resistance equal to across v1 the voltage across the first resistor v1 can we also say i r1 why i because for a series circuit the same current i is going through plus the v2 will be the same current multiplying the resistor 2 plus the third one the same current resistor 3 plus the fourth one the same current resistor 4 so this expression is also true for a series circuit are we okay so this is the deduction for both current and voltage same current through the circuit but voltage is the summation of the individual voltage drops across the element. So you may be wondering about the drawings of a series circuit. Let's have some two diagrams for a circuit which is connected in series. So let's look at this diagram. Now, when we have this as our voltage source a resistor and a resistor so is this this is another resistor our vt our r1 r2 r3 is this circuit in series or parallel now this circuit is what a series circuit why because looking at the drawing it forms a loop the same path you can come back to the point a as you flow through it are we okay so if we have a positive and negative terminal current is going to move this way i and this current will be the same current flowing through the circuit are we okay so this is a series connected. When I have a diagram again in this form, that forms, say, my resistor. Is this series connected? This is positive and negative. Yes, it is in series. The same current will flow and it will come back to the source the same i the same current so this is series connected so when we are given the diagram we have to pay attention and see if the same current is going to flow through it last let's check this diagram if it is series connected Is this diagram series connected? 
this is our R1, R2. No, this is not series connected. Why? Because looking at the diagram, this is positive, negative. The, if this current I is flowing through the circuit, as it gets to this node, as this junction, part of the current is going to flow through this part. I'll call it I1. Let me call this IT. And part is also going to flow through I2, through this resistor. And you can see that there will be division of what? Current here. And there's no guarantee that I1 is equal to I2. So I1 is not equal to I2. Are we okay? So since the same current coming here from here is divided into the branches, it is not series connected. But then if there is no connection this way, let's look at this. If there's no connection this way, and this is just the connection, yes, it becomes a series connected because the same current IT is flowing through the resistor R2 and it will come back to the VT. So I hope you understand from this the idea of series circuit for current and voltage. Now, in the next episode, we are going to tackle resistance in series connected. Thank you for watching this episode.